You're watching the Meditube.com, India's first doctor to doctor TV. And then the question was how muscles can protect the joint? In our minds, we have a muscle applying load, and if we apply a load, the carpus will collapse. How can we understand that muscle is a protective agent here? Well, this is uh, schematically the type of uh, uh, investigation that we have uh, run lately, applying loads to the, to the, to the carpus and uh, using uh, string gauges to measure the motion, tracking motion devices. And what we found is that, interestingly, isometric contraction of the ECU produces pronation of the carpus. Isometric contraction of all other muscles produces supination. I'm talking about intracarpal supination, not forearm supination. The forearm bones are blocked by stamen pins here. But you pull the ECU and you have pronation, and you pull the others and you have supination. How can we understand this behavior? It's easy. At the level of the radius, the tendons are located, as you know, but their distal insertion is not exactly collinear with that. The ECU, for instance, is located dorsally at the level of the wrist, but it has a distal insertion onto the medial, medial anterior corner of the fifth metacarpal, and therefore any contraction in this plane produces pronation of the the ECRL, the APL, the FCU, they happen exactly the opposite. They supinate. And therefore, whenever the wrist is uh, resisting a supination stress, the ECU is the one that reacts. While if you have pronation, it's the other muscles, the one that react. In a way, it's kind of having the reins of a, a horse. If you want to go left, you pull the other right. With the reins, you may control rotation of the carpus, the distal carpus, pronation and supination. And therefore, whenever you have a scaphalunate dissociation and in the cadaver we did that sectioning, what we found was if we pull the extensor carpulnaris, we produce a pronation of the distal row a pronation of the scaphoid, and we were stressing the scaphalunate ligament. It's no wonder that the ECU was told to shut up, because it's a muscle that increases the widening of the scaphalunate joint. See here? This is ECU. This is the other one. Now we pronate. Now we supinate. The ECU, the pronator, is the enemy of the scaphalunate instability. The supinators are the ones that protect this joint from enlarging, from increasing its instability. So now we understand why there are people with complete scaphalunate tears that they don't have symptoms, because they have learned to use their supinators to control that instability. And now we understand why the pronator the ECU has been uh, told to stay put when there's something wrong in the scaphalunate joint. Nature knows that the ECU is the enemy and put him to sleep. <laughs>